Okay, so we're trying to determine whether the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. And remember, we need to look at the slope to figure out which one it is. So the first problem, notice that these are all in y equals mx plus b. So your slope of the first line is just the number in front of the x, which is 2 thirds. And the slope of the second one is the number in front of the x again, which is negative 3 halves. So first thing you want to do is I'd be able to identify the slope. So this is 2 thirds, and the second one is negative 3 halves. Now to tell whether they're parallel, perpendicular, or neither, parallel, they have to be exactly the same. These are not the same. Perpendicular means they have to be opposite, so one positive, one negative. In this case, it is. And reciprocals, which means the fraction has to be flipped. So if I take the first fraction and flip it, I do get 3 over 2, and then notice it's a negative. So this one would be perpendicular. Okay, the second one, again, it's in y equals mx plus b, so the slope of the first one is 1 fifth, the slope of the second one is 5. They're not the same, so not parallel, and these are not perpendicular, because even though these are reciprocals, the fractions are flipped, you need one positive, one negative, so this one would be neither. The next one, notice that the first one, we can tell easily what the slope is, it's negative 4. The second one, remember, we want to get y by itself, so your equation is y equals x over 4 minus 5 over 4. Remember, there is a really a 1 in front of that x. So the slope of the second line is really 1 fourth. So not parallel because they're not exactly the same. Let's check if they're perpendicular. So if I flip the fraction, I do get 1 over 4, and 1 is negative, 1 is positive, so this one would be perpendicular also. Number four, I can tell the slope of the first one easily is negative three-fourths. Uh, the second one, we have to get y by itself, so I'm going to subtract the 3x first. And remember, these cannot be combined because you have an x and you have just a number, so I'm going to leave it as negative 3x minus 3. And then we do have to divide by 4. And I'm going to put the work down here. So y equals negative 3x over 4 minus 3 over 4. The only thing we care about is the slope, which is the number in front of the x. And notice this is also negative 3 fourths. So because they are exactly the same, we say they are parallel. Okay, number 5. The slope is always the number in front of the x. So notice here it's the 1 third. The second one, we do need to get the y by itself. So I end up with y equals negative 2x plus 5. So the slope there is negative 2. Not the same, not parallel. They're not perpendicular because they're not uh, reciprocals of each other. So this would be neither. Last one here. We need to divide by the 2. So I get 4 minus 1x. Slope is always the number in front of the x. So that gives me negative 1. Let's see. The next one, we need to subtract the 3x first. I'm going to put the work down here. I have 3y equals negative 3x plus 9. We still need to divide by the 3. So my equation for the second one is this. So notice the number in front of the x is also negative 1. These are exactly the same, so we would say they are parallel.